How practical is the Royal Canadian Navy's machine gun fitted Arctic and offshore patrol ship, AOPS? Harry de Wolf class offshore patrol vessels are Royal Canadian Navy warships built under the Government of Canada Arctic and Offshore Patrol Ship, AOPS, procurement project, which is part of the national shipbuilding strategy. The vessels are modeled on the Norwegian Coast Guard Svalbard and, as of 2007, were projected to cost $2.5 billion to construct. Thank you, and welcome to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive a notification when new content is released. I have to ask, how practical is Canada's machine gun fitted Arctic and offshore patrol ship, AOPS, when the Chinese Navy sends destroyers off the coast of Alaska? Let's analyze Canada's ops. China claimed a near Arctic state. The U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Kimball, a NATO warship operating under the United States flag, discovered three Chinese vessels approximately 200 kilometers north of Umchitka Pass in the Aleutian Islands, between Alaska and Russia in the northern Pacific Ocean. Factually speaking, China is not an Arctic country, its coasts do not border the Arctic Sea, and it does not claim sovereignty on undercontinental shelves or water in the Arctic. The PRC defines itself as a near-Arctic state, with more extensive interests drawing its attention toward the region. Arctic and Offshore Patrol Ship, AOPS The OPS was initially envisaged to feature azimuth thrusters. This double-acting hull form would incorporate a moderate icebreaking bow for cruising in open water and light ice and an icebreaking stern designed for heavier ice conditions. After a conventional twin-shaft layout similar to existing Canadian Coast Guard icebreakers was selected following a cost-benefit analysis, the hull form was optimized for bow-first icebreaking with a rounded spoon-shaped stem. The vessel's ice class is Polar Class 5, but the bow region is further strengthened to a higher Polar Class 4 level. A bow thruster enables maneuvering and berthing without tug assistance. Missions The embarkment of maritime helicopters is expected to increase the Canadian Armed Forces' capability to conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, search and rescue missions and protect against future naval threats. The patrol boat missions should have been enhanced to include anti-ship and underwater warfare capabilities. A towed array sonar could have increased underwater surveillance capability. Sensors In September 2015, it was announced that the ships would be outfitted with SAGEM navigational systems. On October 7, 2015, the Thales IFF system was selected for use in the class. Terma currently provides its Scanner 6002 radar system to Lockheed Martin Canada as part of the Combat Management System, which Irving Shipbuilding Incorporated selected for the ops. Armaments BAE Systems won the contract to provide up to six modified MK38 25mm cannon for naval ships in the class. This contract also covers the service life of the weapons. The vessels have a hangar and flight deck capable of employing and maintaining the same maritime helicopter as the Royal Canadian Navy's other vessels, the CH-148 Cyclone. The patrol vessels should have anti-ship missiles and lightweight torpedoes to enhance their enforcement capability. They are under armed to perform their duties as China increases its assertive posture in the Arctic. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Visit GlobalDefenseCorp.com. Follow us on X, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram.